Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. This week I have a bit of a kind of vlog style -y, um video where I'm getting to all of the odd jobs in my house. So I had a list of jobs that aren't necessarily sexy or upcycly or fun <laughs> but you need to do them or you'll be like me and there'll be no light bulbs in half of your fittings. So I hope you find this video relatable and I'd love to know what is on your list of odd jobs in the house. Um, I'll try and put timestamps so you can like skip ahead, but yeah, I had to like reseal some sinks, I had to change some bulbs, all of that unsexy stuff. I'm gonna get straight into the video, but do hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and welcome to the community. So here's what I got up to this week. Okay, first job, first of all, Beyonce's playing in the background, which I think gives you a copyright strike. Let me turn her off. My first job is one that I and everyone puts off doing, but believe me when I say summertime is a great time to get a boiler service. And just a reminder, because I had a breakdown, I had a repair like two years ago, I think. And then last year, and like that, it was around that October time when everyone was starting to turn on their heating. And I was in the cold for like, a few days I get like electric heaters and all not good so just a little reminder book the boiler and summer is great now I thought I was going to have to hang on I move you around I thought I was going to have to ring a human being on the phone which is what phones were designed for but we don't do so I'm going to I think I can just book it online no need to talk to a human although I do like ringing while I know this isn't me fixing the boiler, which I don't recommend you do, um, I just wanted to share, I have a list of bitty jobs that I need to get someone to do. So one of them is the boiler, which, okay, check. The second thing is, an, I need to, I would like to get an electrician to do an outdoor socket, um, fix a light upstairs, and what was my other thing? Oh, put a timer on my immersion which I feel like every Irish person, the immersion is like the funny thing in Ireland. It's the water heater, but leaving the immersion on is like the Irish person's, oh, like, you just don't do that. You just don't do that. Leave the immersion on, it's like a common, you just don't do that. So there are my three electrical jobs that I need to source to get an electrician as well. So outdoor socket, fix the light, and put a timer on my immersion. And I actually had like a chap who was going to do electric work as a mixer, like he is an electrician and he was going to do it, you know, like cash in hand. But, but they're like too busy. A lot of the tradespeople at the moment are just so busy with the backlog of COVID. Like my jobs aren't big deals. They're wants, not needs. Well, maybe the immersion, that's a need. But also, I am about to go in to the garden and tackle the garden jobs. And if you are wondering why I'm in my pyjamas, <laughs> They're not really, like, technically they are pyjamas, but Ireland is having a heat wave at the moment. Um, expected to be 27 degrees. And I was like, I don't have like outdoor, like, I mean, I have outdoor clothes, but I want to just tidy up the fence and paint the uh, path thing for the greenhouse before it comes. And yeah, so my little white short and vest is actually pyjamas. Okay, I'm going to transfer money and I'm going to pay for my boiler service. So next up is Operation Greenhouse. So I have a few little jobs to do before it comes. One of them is painting and prepping the base. So the base still has the like wooden surround um, around it, which is like, it's not stencil, that's not the word, but they laid like a wooden um, surround poured the concrete and then I have to take it off now but before I'm doing that I'm just giving the base a good power wash it is super hot today on the day that I did this so I am giving it a power wash because when I patch up the fence and take the base off it should be dry before I give it its paint job so I'm going to take the wooden surround off I'm just using my driver to take out all of the screws and take off the wooden frame and this was oddly satisfying it's like you know when you take like a stencil off or you take something out of like a silicone mold and it gives you like that satisfying feeling well that was I was kind of getting the same vibe from this um so I removed off the frame and then I got to patching up my fence which you'll see now in a minute So 
So I picked up this willow like screen from the garden center and as you can see there's like a tiny bit of fence from my neighbor's side of the garden. Now neither of us have the budget at the moment to replace the back fence so it's looking a bit shabby but I'm just giving it a little fixer upper because when the greenhouse is on that base you shouldn't be able to see much of the back fence. So I did end up trimming the screen in half so I cut it to size but I did also cut it crossways so you'll see in the next clip that I put it up the full length but I did end up trimming this because it was like too dark and I just wanted a bit on top to hide that bit of fence um, and make it just look a little bit prettier and a little bit tidier. When it comes to painting the base, I just use some leftover sand tex masonry paint. Um, I've used their paint like on my white wall and I find that it lasts really well. So I'm just painting the base and I'm giving it two coats and I know what you're thinking, why didn't you just have one of those sticks so you could put your like roller on it? But hey, I didn't have one. I was half tempted to like tape it to the end of like a sweep and brush. Um, but I actually ordered a brick stencil so I have an idea to stencil the base of this but you'll have to wait because I'm waiting on my stencil to arrive so it might work out it might not Can we just take a minute to appreciate the head on me? <laughs> look at that! <laughs> I look at these like DIY um, videos too from other people and I'm like, they so glamorous. That's what I look like with a bit of hard labour. I just have bitty bits to do now. I need to take down old lights because I ordered, I have new ones. Um, but they're not fancy ones, but they work off the electric. I need to raise them on the fence and the bird feeders, I need to take them out of that home and move the bird feeders because this is where the greenhouse is going to be and I don't want seed all over the greenhouse. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move them to the other side. And my neighbours are having a barbecue and I'm kind of like, throw me a burger please. So in my downstairs bathroom I have just some little jobs and the first one is replacing the sealant on my sink. So when I had my bathroom renovation upstairs Thomas took the taps and recycled them so he put the taps that I had on upstairs and he put them on downstairs because my original ones, ooh, they were nasty. So he did this for me so I am just replacing the sealant um, around it, It was time. there was a few cracks and it was just time to kind of replace it, I think every few years you should just replace your sealant. So I'm just removing off the old sealant with a blade before applying a bead of new sealer. I used way too much sealer which is why I had to use my finger a good few times to get it perfect but you just use less um, sealer when you're doing your bead and yet yeah, just smooth it out with your finger and you're good to go. My next job in the bathroom was replacing my toilet seat, which isn't actually that old. I think it's only about two or three years old, but the toilet seat, people would complain that they were falling into the toilet and I was like, oh no. So it was quite wobbly early on. I think there was a piece that had broken in it. So I decided to replace it and it was yucky underneath. So the old toilet seat was actually from Argos don't really recommend it because the white paint on it discolored and no matter what I did I couldn't get it like white again and I had like these kind of stains on it which I just couldn't get rid of but my new one is it looks like the old one but it is like a anti-wobble 
but it's also a quick release system so you can take the seat off by pressing a button to make it easier to clean and yeah hopefully I won't get any of that yucky kind of rusty nuts and bolts like the last one um, and I picked this one up in Woody's and it was slightly more expensive um, but it has that same kind of shaker look that matches the bath panel and then yeah you just slot it on and then press a button to take it off and it's also a soft close as well. So next up on my list of jobs is I do not have a light bulb in any of these rooms. Oh, that one's not working out. So there is no lights in this one. The one that was working, I actually just took out because I need to bring the bulb to the shop, but we have no light, the big light. And the same for here. So let me just turn on the switch. I've got, so we're missing one light bulb and I'm missing, oh, just one there. But I've just noticed that these have been moved. So see this one, it should be that way. And I'm just wondering when I was moving wood into the house, did I whack it? So one light bulb, two light bulb, three, four, five light bulbs. Also, can I just tell you a trick, and I don't mean to teach anyone to suck eggs, you probably already know this, but I'm just sharing my mistake. I always bring a bulb to the shop with me because the amount of times, some of the bulbs in my house are screws like this, and some of them are pins. And the amount of times I have gone and I bought the wrong one because I'm like, I'll remember it, I'll remember it, it's fine. I never do. Um, so I am bringing the bulb with me so I can go and buy them, so I don't have to do two trips because I have gotten caught out in the past with that. Okay, there's obviously a reason why I was called to change the light bulbs. Hang on. I don't know if you can see, but the twisty end has come off in the light fitting, which I imagine is a fire hazard. So I'm going to, there's no electricity going to that. I'm going to switch it off at the mains and I'm going to try and take the twisty bit out of the light fitting. There's things like that. I'm like, mm, you're going to set my house on fire. So let's turn off the electricity and see if I can get I'm just going to use the pliers to twist the old piece out. It's like this just slid out of the bulb. But I got like um, LED energy efficient new bulbs. So I'm hoping it won't happen again. So I don't know if you can see the um, twisty bit. Oh, my camera is like not playing today. Um, I don't know if you can see this. The bulb just came out of this. There's actually a bit of damage on the inside. And I'm like, like the life fit in itself is fine since I took this out. But I'm like, that was a potential fire hazard, which is why I need to be checking my light bulbs more often. So let me know in the comments what's your odd job. 
do you too have no light bulbs on half your fittings? See, in Ireland in summer, it's daylight like really long. So it gets dark at about like 10, half 10. I'm sure I go to bed at half nine, 10. So I'm not putting the light on. <laughs> so I just noticed that I was like, God, there's no lights in them. Like, see, so yeah, I had to rectify that. But yeah, it does be long in Ireland. Like it's like bright at five in the morning till like 10 p.m. in summer. So that's why I didn't have lights. <laughs> in winter, I probably would have noticed sooner. And I will say it does feel good to check off your list, especially of jobs that you've been putting off for ages. Um, you just kind of feel a bit more organized. And I have noticed like my past couple of videos, um, I know my last kind of two videos were like kind of like decluttering, organizing, clearing out. And I feel like every now and again, I just get into that kind of like energy where I want to just kind of clear spaces in the house and fix things and yeah I don't know it's like I get into this like declutter energy and I think it's like good energy for your house I don't know much like about feng shui but I know things like that like repairing things and maintaining things and clearing things is like good good energy do let me know in the comments what are your odd jobs that you've been putting off for ages and I hope you even do just one of them and get the buzz from ticking it off your list Anyway, that is me for this week. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in next week's video.